It's been just over a week since Hurricane Helene made landfall in the southern United States, bringing with it mass damage and a death toll that has now risen to 227, and that could increase further. Now the nation starts the road to recovery, a process that could take months, if not years. Thankfully, neighbors, not just from across the street, but across state lines are coming to help, as WBKO Sarah Phipps shows us. It's our top story at 10. Cheryl Allen, chief of the Logan Aluminum and Russellville Rural Fire Department, is no stranger to helping those in need. I took a crew of like 26 people to Katrina uh, when that occurred, um, and uh, we took um, everything we needed to be self-sufficient, including heavy equipment, gas, uh, law enforcement. We had a big group uh, that, uh, that I was able to put together on a very short uh, notice. So when she heard about the damage in North Carolina, she knew all she needed to do was talk with her bosses at Logan Aluminum and wait for the charitable hearts of Logan County to come through. You know, anytime I have gone and said, hey, this is going on, I want to take a crew, I want to help, and they're behind me 100% with the monetary uh, donations, with items. Uh, we will set a trailer at the end of the lot. We'll put it out there on Facebook through emails internally. And the people that uh, I work with and the people in Logan County have always come through and donated and given to those times when people are in their most uh, desperate hour of need. Armed with donations of everything from snacks to tents, Allen and her team visited North Carolina Thursday to distribute aid, finding the scene hard to describe. It's like a disaster zone, unlike anything you can imagine, really. It's, it's kind of hard to explain and pictures don't even do it justice because you feel like you're walking into a time warp where everything just stood still like the earth just stopped and this is what was left after it stopped all the more reason alan said to give whatever help she could adding that she's always felt her mission in life is to help others so to start from ground zero it, it's got to be so I, I don't just so overwhelming. The very least we can do as neighbors is uh, try to help them on their worst day by providing those basic needs. I mean, I remember handing this lady a hairbrush during Katrina and she cried, you know, and it was just, just the smallest of things makes a difference. Allen said the departments will more than likely return to North Carolina as the state prepares for the winter months and to look out for updates on the Russellville Rural Fire Department's Facebook. Reporting in Russellville, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News.